morning, how y'all doing out there? This video today is going to be about Lynn Bias being just now inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame. Lynn Bias was something else back for the uh, University of Maryland Turpins back in the 80s, early 80s. And I'll tell it like this. He was uh, going to be a rival for Michael Jordan, especially when he played against North Carolina. Jordan had respect for him. The thing that blows my mind is why is it taking almost 40 years for the guy to be in, in, put into the College Basketball Hall of Fame? And you're talking about a guy that was the truth. You know, I know that his unfortunately cocaine-related death back in 18, 1986 on draft day for the Boston Celtics painted a cloud. And, you know, that's been almost, oh man, that's been like almost 35 years ago. That, yeah, it's been 34 years ago, almost 35 years ago. But still, this guy should have been in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. I mean, he definitely was something else. He's one of those guys that's a woulda, coulda, shoulda been. A freak of nature, had crazy athleticism, had crazy hops could move, you know. I felt that Lynn Bias, to me, somewhere between Dominique Wilkins and LeBron James later on is where you'd find him because he had incredible athleticism. And had he gone to the Celtics with Bird, McHale, and Parrish in them, and DJ, ain't no telling what kind of more runs they'd have had. He was that guy and a guy. And he was said, it's just like also I feel like a Ridge Lewis had to live. And Bias, they could have probably ran a dynasty. They drafted, they definitely got the right guys. It's just that the tragedy took them both out. But Lynn Bias would have definitely been, had he stayed, been able to play and what have you, would have been considered one of the greatest players ever on the pro level because he was something else in college. So, it's just kind of like surprising to see his name just now coming up um, for in, putting it enshrinement into the College Basketball Hall of Fame when I think that should have been done like 25 years ago, easily. Because they're having really, they've been great college players since. But he's one of them guys that you just thought to your mindset, this guy is, is going to be a beast on the next level. And unfortunately, it didn't come to pass. But. How you feel about Lynn Byers just now getting into College Basketball Hall of Fame? I think it should have been happening. But anyway, give me your thoughts. It takes it to like it, subscribe, wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And uh, if you don't know about him, look his videos up, see what the hype was about. Lynn Byers was one of the baddest college basketball players I've ever seen in an athletic freak. And like I said, just a tragedy that didn't come to fruition. However, that cat could climb. He could definitely climb. All right, peace out.